So lung cancer happens when our lung cells yeah, proliferate uh, very actively, uh, uncontrollably, yeah, and uh, it becomes abnormal lung cells. So this is the model of our lungs. Yeah, this is our healthy right lung. This is our cancerous right lung looks like. So you can see a healthy lung should be pink color, very healthy looking. Yeah, but a cancerous lungs can look like this. These are all abnormal uh, lung tissue. Yeah, which results from the uh, abnormal proliferation of lung cells. Yeah? So this is what happens when someone is having lung cancer. It means that the lung tissues are uh, you know, uh, proliferating uncontrollably, hence they cannot uh, function normally. Yeah? So when someone is having lung cancer, yeah, basically the lung cancer can happen uh, within the lung tissue. Yeah? Or the lung cancer can also happen within the AV as well. Yeah? We call it bronchogenic uh, cancer. We are talking about patients who have uh, prolonged cough yeah? uh, and sometimes they can have uh, blood in their phlegm or bloody cough. Yeah? Uh, sometimes they can also have significant uh, weight loss. Yeah? You can see they are very thin yeah? and they can also have a significant appetite, lot, uh, appetite loss. Yeah? They can't really eat properly. They have very poor appetite. They can only eat very little. Yeah? So they can be very thin. Yeah, uh, they can have prolonged cough. Yeah, they can have difficulty breathing. Yeah, and sometimes you can see they also have abnormal breathing sounds. Yeah, sometimes they can have wheezing as well. Yeah, uh, yeah. So if let's say um, this lung cancer yeah have spread to other organs. Yeah, for example, if if it has spread to the brain. Yeah, then sometimes a uh, patient can also have headache. Yeah. Patient can also have blurring of vision. Yeah? If let's say the lung cancer has spread to the bone, yeah? then the patient can also have bone pain, yeah? back pain, fracture. Yeah? But usually, yeah, lung cancer is a silent killer. Yeah? Means that they do not have symptoms during their early stage. Yeah? So we have uh, four stages. Uh, stage 1, 2, 3 and 4. Yeah? Usually during early stage, for example, stage 1 and 2. Yeah? Or sometimes even 3, yeah? they do not have any significant symptoms. And usually when they already have symptoms, means that it already stage 4. Yeah? Means that it already spread to other organs already. We have to look at the spreading of the lung cancer. If let's say the lung cancer have uh, spread to the uh, lung um, coverings or we call it pleura, yeah? it can cause water in the lungs. Yeah? If let's say the cancer have spread to the heart, yeah? it can cause uh, water in the heart or we call it uh, pericardial effusion. Yeah? If let's say the lung cancer becoming bigger yeah? and it comp compresses our digestive tract, yeah? so patient can have difficulty swallowing. Yeah? And if let's say the lung cancer have spread to the vocal cord, <clears throat> patient can have a hoarseness of voice. Yeah? And if let's say the lung cancer uh, have spread to the brain, yeah? patient can have a very severe headache, patient can have blurring of vision, yeah? patient can have a seizure, fits. Yeah? And if let's say the lung cancer have spread to the liver, yeah, patient can have a yellowish discoloration of the eye, patient can have a distended tummy, yeah. And if let's say the, the cancer have uh, spread to um, the bones, yeah, patient can have very severe back pain, yeah, and sometimes they can have a fracture, yeah? unexplained fracture. Yeah? So those are the complications of lung cancer. In order to diagnose lung cancer, yeah, you need to have a basic uh, imaging. Yeah? For example, you need to have a chest x-ray, yeah? chest radiograph. Yeah? From the chest x-ray, you can see yeah? whether is there any uh, patch, yeah? white patch or any uh, solid lesions. Yeah? But sometimes, uh, white patch uh, you know, can mimic uh, the pneumonia, lung infection. Yeah? So sometimes we sometimes tend to mislead yeah, whether could this be lung infection or could this be lung cancer. Yeah? So in order to really determine, yeah, you need to do a CT scan. Yeah? CT scan can help to really uh, differentiate yeah, whether this is a lung cancer or whether this is a lung infection or whether this is a tuberculosis infection. Yeah? Yeah? So from the CT scan, you can identify yeah, the nature of the lung cancer. You can also measure the size of the lung cancer and you, and you can see how extensive the lung cancer has spread. Yeah? Has it spread to the uh, other uh, organs? Yeah? Has it spread to the uh, contralateral lungs? Yeah? So CT scan. Sometimes you might need to do a bronchoscopy in order to get the tissue diagnosis where we put in the camera into your nose throat and the lungs yeah? and then you can see any lung tumor yeah? and then from there you can take a biopsy and sometimes you might need to do a CT guided biopsy. You do a CT scan and then from there you can take biopsy to identify the type of the lung cancer. 
basically there are many uh, modality of treatment for lung cancer yeah uh, depends on the staging of the lung cancer yeah if let's say stage 1 and 2 yeah usually we can uh, do the surgery yeah we can resect the tumor and a uh, patient can still have uh, you know good, a good quality of life afterwards yeah but if let's say uh, the cancer yeah have spread to other organs yeah have spread to other region of our body yeah uh, means that already stage 3 or stage 4 yeah usually the treatment modality is chemotherapy yeah chemotherapy can help to um, prolong the patient's survival yeah it can help to delay the progression of the cancer yeah and um, sometimes it can help to relieve the patient's symptom as well yeah so chemotherapy is part of the treatment for lung cancer and nowadays we have a um, newer generation of chemotherapy in the tablet form so the patient can take the tablet at home no need to be admitted to the ward for chemotherapy the other modality is radiotherapy means that we can give radiation treatment to the tumor yeah that can help to control the progression of the cancer